my name is Christina Kitsos. I'm a registered aesthetic nurse. And today I am going to be giving my client a very defined jawline. So what is your goal? What, what, why do you want a, lar a more defined jawline? Um, I think when I see it, I mean like realistically, mm -hmm. it's like, I can see that it kind of like, it's not like predominant. It it's like not like edge. a defined like, It would be edge. great if this would just like right. disappear, you know, well, we can obviously. do that. We just take some duct tape and yeah, pull it back. Exactly. As you'll see, his jawline is his number one concern. But when I do an assessment of his face, we'll see that one side's a little bit different than the other. So I'm gonna have to put in a teeny bit of cheek filler just to make sure that the whole picture is even and balanced. The technique I'm going to be using is a little bit different than what normally is done. I'm always getting there in maybe two, three sessions. I don't wanna go and just blast tons of filler in mm. because first of all it's not necessarily that safe second of all i want it i want you to ease into having it and i want it to be like not that perceptible to people around you my first injections are going to be on the bone and the second ones are a little more superficial so we're getting a double layer of filler so we are going to put a little bit of numbing for the cannulas and i like to use some of this bicarb this takes the sting out of the, uh, the lidocaine has definitely a sting to it. So by adding a little bit of this sodium bicarb, we're gonna take the sting out because I like to do pain-free injections. Anything that I can do to make people have less pain and have it be more comfortable, it's worth it to me. Okay, so turn your head. Great. So we are gonna make a little in injection of, this is the numbing stuff. And I do a shake when I do it. One, two, three, I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. That kind of helps for it not to hurt so badly. So a lot of people ask if I'm nervous and the answer is no, I'm not nervous at all. I'm just doing this so that he doesn't have to much pain. Good. You okay? No, I didn't feel that at all. Good, good, Like good. not even a little bit. Good. Okay, another shake, ready? One, two, three, little shake, shake, shake. Done. Today we are using RHA4, one of my favorite fillers. It's really great for building up the bones. Okay, on three, one, two, three. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake a little bit. Good, you might feel a little bit of pressure. You doing okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Good. You can feel a little tightness, a little pinchy, totally normal. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back in and I'm gonna use the cannula to really give a super different. This is the weird one. It's the weird one, but one you're gonna be, <laughs> you'll see. So right now, tell me how much pain you have. None. None, right? No pain. So that's the key, is that we're making a little hole. We're kind of just making a place for this cannula to go in. Tiny little cannula. And just kind of thread it. Super sculpted jawline. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So it's kind of neat to see. You can like kind of pan through, and you can kind of see like one side. Although this already does have some. Just oh so yeah, you can kind of see all the different. So most people will actually start to see the results immediately. That's the great thing about filler. The only problem is there are certain people that get more swollen than others. Um, there's always a chance of bruising. And so bruising and swelling normally takes anywhere from three to five days to go away. And it's different with everyone. Some people don't bruise at all. Some people look amazing right immediately afterward. And so we just have to realize that that could happen. And so I normally have people uh, make sure that they have a good one to two weeks before any special event. Love. Yeah? Love. That's crazy.